Hey guys, Jason here, Otero Ready 5 VC. I got a whole nother batch of recent finds for you right now. So to kick things off, let you know, uh, got stuff all over the place, some record stores, some uh, thrift stores, some gifts. Uh, so we'll just jump in and get going through it. Uh, first up, a couple uh, from the thrift store. This is from Goodwill, uh, but uh, classic Lightfoot. Uh, so we've got, is this volume two? Volume two. Um, and this is from a record club, uh, but best of Lightfoot two. Uh, another one, Gordon Lightfoot. If you could read my mind. Now this one is a little bit beat up. Um, these were 50 cents or a dollar. Um, but uh, if you could read my mind, these have the uh, old school label makers uh, where they stick out. So these are a little bit chewed up. Um, here's one a little bit out of norm for me. Connie Francis, more Italian favorites. Uh, just a cool, cool record. Really great condition uh, on MGM. Yeah, on MGM. But thrift store. A couple more thrift finds here. Uh, this one is still in shrink and it's pretty old. Um, the Maid of Constant Sorrow, Judy Collins. Uh, the condition of this was definitely the reason I picked it up, just to find it still in shrink. Um, and this is on Electra. Very good condition. Still has the original. I love this Electra inner sleeve. I think it looks super cool. Um, but that is A Maid of Constant Sorrow, Judy Collins. Okay, this next group comes out of a batch from a basement collection I purchased off of a guy. Up first is Coda, Zeppelin. Um, obviously, just a lot of jamming out on this one. Um, this is a gatefold. Incredible condition. Inner sleeve, everything. Uh, less than a dollar was paid for this. So I'm not mad about that. Here's one I honestly know nothing about, but I picked it up because it seemed intriguing to me. I haven't listened to it, and there's actually two copies of it in here um, on MGM. Oh, what is that? No, it's not. This is, that's cool when that happens, John B. Sebastian. Which one of these does it have one that I've heard before? Um, she's a lady? Is that it? I think that's the one. Uh, so anyway, that was in there. Um, Orpheus Joyful is the one I picked up, and it still has the hype sticker on it, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, don't know much about them on MGM, another good condition, but that was just totally like, huh, interesting. I haven't seen that one before, had to pick it up. Alright, Led Zeppelin, the soundtrack from the film, the song remains the same. Um, gatefold. It still has the uh, pages intact. Um, another great find with that collection. Um, and vinyl's in pretty good shape too. These need clean, um, but another great dollar. Um, these are from, somehow these kept making it, these next few are from a record shop up in, what, what area was that, Anderson? Andersonville, north of Chicago, just a little bit north of Wrigleyville in that area. They had a little shop that had some records in it, and I just went through the dollar bin, and anything that was a condition that was interesting to me that I was interested in, I picked up. So, first one is Masks, uh, Brand X. I haven't listened to this. Uh, several of these I haven't listened to. I need to check out. Uh, this is on Passport Records. So that's an interesting label. I haven't seen much of that yet. Uh, up next, John Fogarty, um, Eye of the Zombie, cool cover, very good condition, I've seen a lot of copies of this around, but uh, the quality the condition was good, apparently they had that at six bucks once, I think they get it for a dollar. Um, the Edward, now this is, um, let's see, Mick Jagger's in this, Bill Wyman, Charlie Watts, Rod Cooter, and Nick Hopkins, um, excellent condition again. Definitely picked it up when I saw the label. Uh, Sun's label there. So um, this is a really good find. These are all again from that record shop. Uh, John Mayall Memories. Is, is John Mayall 
Jerry McGee, and who's the other one in there? Larry Taylor. Um, good, bluesy, a lot of harmonica, a lot of harp in there. Um, I really enjoyed listening to this record. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed it, and um, I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it. I just really enjoyed the way that the album developed. It was enjoyable to me. Um, and uh, definitely picked up a lot more mail since I listened to this one, Memories, on Polydor. All right, Todd Rundgren, um, Invitation, Initiation, not Invitation, not reading very well today. Bear with me. Bearsville, another really cool book in the label. Steppenwolf at your birthday party. We'll cover. Again, all these are still dollar finds. Um, incredible condition, Dunhill. All right, a little electronic here. Um, nectar uh, through the year, through the ears, ears through the ears, not the years. I think that's on purpose. Um, this is a dual LP Nectar. Um, I'm trying to remember who I was talking to that really liked this, and I can't. Visa Records. All right, another one from there, and then I think we're moving on to some that I've picked up new or at the record store uh, here in Columbus, but last one here is Grand Funk Railroad on time. My green Capital label. I really like that green and purple label. Uh, so, cool. All right, so that was the record shop. I wish I could remember the name of it, and I had footage of it. Um, and then I got a new phone and I don't know what I did with that footage. So, um, up next is a newer purchase, um, Young the Giant, a really enjoyable band. I like this album a lot. Um, Cough Syrup is a great song. Uh, My Body was the one that a lot of people have heard. Um, let's see. Just a really good sound. Now I like uh, their other, a couple of their other, uh, they just come out with a new one. Um, I can't remember the name of the other one, but it has like a face on it and it's like black and white cover. Uh, this has a little bit of artwork in it in between them, but this is a dual LP set. And man, I'm just really struggling today. Bear with me. Roadrunner Records. Just pressing. I wish you guys could see a lot like that. Um, Young the Giant, really enjoyable, one of the newer groups that I like. Um, they come through Columbus a lot, I'm going to try to catch them next time. This next one, I'm really excited to find, especially the condition that it's in. Uh, Muddy and the Wolf, very excited about this. This is on Chess Records, um, so you got Hound Wolf and Muddy Waters here. And then let me just read off some of the, uh, the lineup for the band. So playing with Muddy, you got... Otis Spann, you got Michael Bloomfield on lead guitar, which uh, you guys have been showing me a lot of his stuff. I'm really enjoying it, so I'm definitely keeping an eye out for any of his stuff. Uh, Paul Butterfield, which I have some Butterfield Blues. Duck Dunn on the bass, Sam Lay. Uh, then you go over to Howlin' Wolf, and you got Eric Clapton, Steve Winwood, Bill Wyman, Charlie Watts, Hubert Sumlin, and Ian Stewart. So uh, this is a really cool um, project. Uh, excellent condition. I paid $8 for this. Um, but look at the condition on this. Um, 1982. Photo of them in there. Love this stuff. And if you know me, one of the things that you know is consistent is I love blues. I love any of the older blues stuff. It's hard to get a hold of uh, here in Columbus. Uh, I think it is kind of everywhere. I love the Chess Record label too. That's just sweet. Um, but yeah, Muddy and the Wolf. Um, yeah. Really good stuff. All right, up next, this is from local record shop, Sindaloos, that I talk about. I think I'm gonna try to do a, a video there, digging through, uh, just seeing if uh, you guys like looking through those with me. Uh, traffic, um, another one, incredible condition. Super happy to find it. Is that not supposed to be? Yeah. Got the little book in there, um, which is a little bit harder to find sometimes, but great copy of that. United Artists label, older one there. Great stuff. Listening to a lot of traffic lately, which I, I share with you in my last video. Another band I really like, 
Humble Pie, uh, Performance Rocket, and the Fillmore. Um, now, Humble Pie is one where, similar to traffic in some ways, where at a certain point the band just kept adding so many people in that um, it got a little bit harder to follow. But some of the early stuff I really enjoy. This is the Dual LP live um, on AM. Uh, happy to find it as well there. Um, and then one last one on this recent find, and it is another traffic last exit. Um, by the way, I'm gonna switch this over with my outer sleeves where I put the record in the inner sleeve in the back. So it'll make for quicker videos too, which I'm sure none of you will be disappointed with. Uh, but last exit traffic. So that's it lately. I've got a few more coming up, a few more recent finds. This will probably slow down a little bit for me. Uh, because I'm still playing catch up from taking such a long time off last year. Um, hope you guys have a great day. Keep spinning.